Alright, so the checkpoints will sort of weave you through there. And then as long as you hang left, boom, you make it, right? Checkpoint here. Hello everyone, Thoranks is here and welcome back to No Man's Sky episode 163 where we're back at the Terranautica main base or the Terranautica factory as it should be named. I've harvested all of our frost wort to make glass and I went ahead and I landed our hauler ship because we're going to go ahead and start processing some of these larval cores except as you can see we don't really have the inventory space we're sort of full up with all these various things that I purchased that we we either need right now or we will need soon and of course we have all this dihydrogen jelly I bought and metal plating for our racing components but also I think our freighter is going to need more fuel so uh, let's send at least four stacks to our freighter and now that puts us in a pretty good position we can go ahead and buy a few more I think 10, 10 replacement for all of that will be fine Let's see, if we look at our cargo, a lot of oxygen, a little bit of condensed carbon, not a lot of condensed carbon. All right, so we're going to need to start using the factory again. And I think the first one we can start with is we can get all this rusted metal processed into ferrite dust. That's a pretty good one. Um, then let's process some of this... Do the larval cores. Now that is nice and fast, actually. We should just go ahead and do those really quick. And and it's good to have the nanite clusters, but again, we're not really hurting for nanite clusters, and we're not really buying upgrades at ridic ridiculous rates. I don't know if I've checked. No, I'm trying to remember. I, I actually don't think there's any S-class modules for multi-tools in this system at all, if I remember. Let me just refine that back into its... Uh, I think we'll just... We'll end up deleting that here before too long. No, so what we need is we need to be able to take some of all that stuff from our ship. I didn't think we were that low on ferrite supplies. We have magnetized ferrite, and that's about it. Pretty much spent all the rest of all of it. So again, the best use for magnetized ferrite is we can go ahead and do this. And that gets us the rare metal element times five. So that'll give us even more magnetized ferrite, so we might as well do that. go that gets the oxygen used up so then over here we're actually going to take some of the magnetized ferrite and spin it into pure ferrite although I think if we do this and then I feel like if we put all three of them together we got yeah we got that's another way to get rare metal element that's not that bad. Let's see if we get rid of this. Yeah. Nope. Then let us let us get rid of this. Yep. I 
and just process this into pure ferrite again. And then over here, of course, we have more dust, which we need more rust. No, there's a better way to make rust than that. I just don't remember what it is. So we'll make the condensed carbon we need anyways. Hey, we almost got the whole first floor humming. Hold on, let's see. One more. What's a good one? Alright, I'm pretty sure there's a way we can take this oxygen and this magnetized ferrite and make rust. I'm fairly certain. Maybe I don't have the magnetized ferrite anymore. Right, no, I did put it there, okay. We could take another crack at the condensed carbon, but I think we're gonna have a lot of that already just kind of sitting around. All right, well, we could get more oxygen from, look at that. Look at our planet. It's so magnificent. I love it. It's that sunrise. It's about that sunrise. Yep. All right. This tree growing up through our platform, I tried to eradicate it, but I couldn't mine it up. It's wedged there. It's part of the structure now. And it will be for a long, long time. So those are just going to give me back more rare earth metal, rare metal element, and then that's... That's more magnetized ferrite, though. So I guess the only other solution is to... Perhaps we need to summon the Colossus Exocraft and see what we're missing. We could put the permanent constructor here. Feels so wasteful, though. But it is, it is important to have all that storage available while you're, while you're kind of in the factory, though. You know, we might just, yeah. Of course, we will. I mean, the more I think about it, it really just makes sense. Big production factory base. gotta have the Colossus available. You have to. Did it change my Exocraft to the Colossus? It did not. Okay. So let's let us update it. Now what do we have? Oh, look at all that ferrite. So really, all I needed to do was to bring this... It's been so long. We have all the star silk. Well, no, that's okay. It's going to give us a chance to... Oh, miss the walkway. We did spend all those resources building that walkway. The elevated buildings are really where it's at. Okay. Why did you stop? It's like it's stuck at 54%, it should... Okay. It is updating just slowly, albeit slowly. That one should be 
further along, though. Mm. Well, the real reason we had to come back, so I'm sitting here and I'm kind of thinking to myself, really, did I just waste all my time coming here? But no, 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 no. So the reason that we came here, the, the real, the real, real reason of the big true true was so that we could scan for a trade outpost and ultimately use that trade outpost to pick up a Corvax casing. I just want to see what this building is right here first. And it just looks like a beacon, so I'm disinterested. That's my other base. How nice everything looks here. It's just debris. It's just debris. It's just problems. Alright, one hour to fly to the trading posts. Nope. Let's break out of the atmosphere. What the heck building is that? Resource depot. Nice. Alright, trading posts. Let's do it. sunset at the trading post. Nope, slow down. Oh no, please land. Please allow me to land. Hmm. Okay, so the system fought with me a little bit there. Okay, well, this place was definitely a little delayed in its appearance, but here we are on our home planet, watching the ships line up for landing, which is great. Let's get ourselves a Corvax casing. One of these fighter pilots. I would like to buy one of these, please. That's really all I want. That was the heart and soul of why we had to come here. Well, or not specifically here, but it was on our list. So we can activate the portal at the other location. Now that the sun is going down. get out of here and bounce back to our home. Oh, watch out. No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm, I, I'm not going to go down like this. Not like this. Escape. We will escape. All right, let's break out of the atmosphere a little bit. Absentia. That is our... Yep, that's our desolate planet. Um, no, wait a second. If they just jumped in, might you have a recruitable frigate? Yes. I would accept these terms, I'm sure. I mean, combat frigate, you don't have a desire to, to work for me? I have quite the fleet. Okay. Fair enough. Back to base. So many islands. Hold on, that's not mine, is it? No, it's not. Hold on. Mine is here. On this island. Wow, very nice. 
So I absolutely do like the terrain tessellation effect that I'm using. However, I can tell our settings are going to have to be modified a little bit. Mm, are you going to let me get out of my aircraft or my starship okay without any issues? Look at that. Excellent. Okay. Ooh, there's a, there's a bunch in the old frame rate. Ooh. Let's see where are we at. We're pretty good with most of these things. I would say we should just should just take our ill-gotten gains and, and head out and do our racetrack. I don't think there's much more of a reason to be here. You just give me my rare metal element and I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. Let's see, these two should be empty, and then the one over here should have some condensed carbon in it, which we do need more of that. Alright. Now I think we just depart. We used these facilities up. We did get ourselves a lot of dihydrogen jelly, which is good. We used the marketplace. So we need to go back to the other base, which has not been renamed. The Sequint Opro Colony. Thanks, pre tropical race, because it needs to be relabeled Thanks, pre something freighter race. I don't know. It's got to be the Sequint Opro? Maybe. Let's go with it. Look at that, we guessed properly. This is the Sequent Opro Colony. Wonderful, right? Absolutely just magnificent. Let's get ourselves a nice square room. And then if I put the viewing sphere here, is it? Yes, it is, to a degree. Um, but if I put the viewing sphere over here, exactly. No dice. Does not work. So perhaps... Hold on. Perhaps what I had thought in the first place is accurate. Which is that we bend one way and then we bend back the other and then we build our square room like that. Oh, and now we're missing components. This is the way it's going to be. Ferrite dust for sale. <laughs> no, thank you. We're just going to hop and bounce through these doors. We should rename the base. I think that's important. How about Thranks Pre... Rainbow Freighter Race. Oh, look at that. Look where it put my ship. <laughs> I hate this game. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm I'm not that bent out of shape out of... I'm not that bent out of shape with those terms. Um, no, so what we need... Hold on. What we need, no joke, is the ability to call our exocraft to this planet. Yes. And I was very clear that I would be rebuilding this once I got our base up, and I just had not done it yet, but it's going to be right in here where it can't interfere with anything. Right sort of on top of these little cargo modules here. Ugh. All right, 
let's just let's I'm gonna do it I'm gonna use nav data so pull my ship down here I've done it it's happening it's a thing deal with it not going to make it close oh no we did make it okay good so can I summon the real question is can I summon a vehicle up here that is the question I'm going to lean on no. <laughs> I'm going to lean a little heavily on no. I'm going to try it anyways, and it looks like no. Only now it's not going to even let me put it on the ground because reasons. Oh, there it goes. Okay, but it's not going to give it to me until I board it. Oh, I bet that was still my exocraft. Too bad you can't have like a little elevator or something. Let's send the rare metal element to the Colossus. And we'll take the already ready to go metal out of the Colossus. Okay, I just took a 500 stack of each one, and we don't have that much more to make. So if that doesn't work, I don't know what to say, because really we just need a viewing slash lounging room to make this complete. And uh, I'm not even going to put a refiner down. I'm just going to leave it as, I'm probably going to put some windows in this room actually. Let's Let's do that. Okay, all right. And then we go over here. Ugh, gotta hop over these. Ever so slight inconvenience, not the end of the world. And then for here we have a nice viewing sphere. And sure, oh yeah, this is uh, this is very nice. And then we'll have, what, windows here, I'm thinking. You know, maybe the round room was better. And the reason I'm leaning on the round room is because you get to put more windows. You know, you get to make it like kind of, it looks more like a giant viewing room. So we'll put the viewing sphere there, and then the big windows here. Oops, one more. See, and then this is the viewing sphere. Maybe the viewing sphere isn't even really needed. It's another big window. Look at that. So legitimate. Now the big question is, why don't they let you put windows here? Oh look, they're gonna let me snap this weird window here. What the, what the heck? All right, so let's go ahead and decorate. Let's do our decorations. I'm thinking for the rainbow, I'm thinking for the rainbow planet, we're gonna do rainbow lights, party lights. And, of course, we don't have enough colors to... Um, maybe another green and a blue. And then, if we get rid of this white light, we could replace it with a yellow. So 
So it's almost like... Well, at that point, if we get rid of the pink, let's just... Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. See, the solution will present itself if you give it enough time. Epiphanies only happen if you're not multitasking, they say. Look at that. Colors opposite. They match all the way around. They fit. It's a rainbow room. It works. The sun is up right now, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, for decorations, we're going to go ahead and... Um, this one's going to be more of a... Um, let's see. We got these uh, We got these sort of flags here we can hang. I don't think we're going to hang those in this room. Um, we are going to go ahead and give lots and lots of couches. Yes. The... The sofas kind of on most of these walls here. About like this. All right, and then I'm thinking we do like, not, not a desk, but yeah, a little light table here, sort of in the center of everything, center of attention. And then maybe we pull out one of these pocket reality generators. These things are pretty neat. We do have all the materials for it. Let's see what it looks like. We just put it down. Hey, look at that. So if that's the case, let's get rid of those. I don't think I want to put that down here, though. I mean, uh, it looks neat and all. However, comma. I just don't know. That's not really what I'm thinking. Okay, most of our stuff here is well taken care of. Our inventory is pretty squared away. I think at this point, uh, let's see, decorations. Not really a desk. No, this is a leisure place. This is like, you know, it's a hangout place. So you gotta have your screen to place your bets. And these flags, they don't really do it for me. We can have a couple of dining room chairs over here next to one of the windows, right? Maybe not dining room chairs, but a little bit of possible dining, possibly. People got to eat. You got to get together. Have a little bit to eat. Sure. What else can we do? Something for the top of the table, maybe? See, that's not really an eating table. I mean, if you're going to watch the race, you got to have snacks. An oscilloscope. A robotic arm. It's not a work area, guys. Come on. Come on. A storage panel. Flat panel. Shelf panel. Nah, it all says work, work, work to me. Floor mat. It's not going to cover the floor, though, is it? Oh, sure. Yeah, that, no, that gives color for certain. Uh, let's stick with concrete, but let's go with this purple and white sort of color that we've... There we go. Let's, let's... It's not quite the same purple setup that we had in the other one, but look at that. It's very sleek. It blends in. You get party lights. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So this building is ready to go. Now it's just all up to that race, isn't it? It's just all up to the race. I don't want to get... I mean, we could go a little more crazy with decorations here. We could. We could kind of just go nuts. However, I don't want to spend too long doing this. So now all of the pieces and all the components we have are going to be for the racetrack. So let's go ahead and let's plan out our racetrack, shall we? The Azure Spark is ready to go. All right, let's see. So we're gonna start here. This is where they start you. Bing, bing, bing. So we're gonna hop up, oof. Catch it a little bit like that. The plan is to jump on over, right? 
So the first checkpoint is going to be around here. So I'm thinking we do a nice fast panel here. But then what we want is sort of, I mean, if we hit that fast panel, the idea is that we would ramp. Ooh, ooh, ouch. Predator. Cautious eats foraged leftovers. I mean, a scatter blaster makes quick work of you guys, and it's not even upgraded yet. Come on. Thought I heard another creature there for a moment. Look at these trees, though. What it means to, to be dwarfed by them. It feels pretty, pretty intimidating. This thing's coming out of the ground. Very, very, very alien planet. Now, where are... No, those are friendly. Okay, so we put the boost pad there. Which means what we need is... A ramp here. Problem is, the ramp has to be, like, rampable. You have to be able to, like, if it's, if it doesn't lay flat on the ground, that's so troubling. See, it won't lay flat. So we'll just hit that ramp, we'll just hit that speed boost. Maybe you'll get your own natural ramp here. Right, and then we're going to cut up the trail. Hold on, look at all the creatures here. It's a lot of creatures. Hasty eats vegetation. Nervous eats cave marrow. Another one, well they they all look similar, but they're they're registering as different life forms, so Nervous eats rotting fruit. Self aware. Why? So that's where the racetrack will cut up the hill. Alright. So our first checkpoint is going to be along these lines. The idea being, you're racing this way, you hit the speed boost, boom, you bounce up, and of course the first checkpoint is here, boom. So now we cut around this thing, and whoa. We scanned a large creature yet? Okay, we have. Alright, okay, alright. So now we're going to cut up the hill for the next part of the racetrack. we here? Chloride lattice, chloride lattice, destabilized sodium. I kind of don't mind the destabilized sodium. I feel like sodium's just one of those things. It's like carbon. I can't turn my back on it. Look at that mining beam go. Hmm. I love it. Now we've got some dihydrogen over here I'm going to grab. Nobody's really trying to be dangerous. You know, the creatures here are a little weird. Okay, the path is going to come up here. The checkpoint is going to... Whoa. Submissive digs for tubers. Okay, um, I mean, it looked like a predator, but it's not a predator. 
seeing a lot of creatures over here now, all of a sudden. Right, so this is where what we want is a ramp, like this. Right, so we can boost up this way, and then boom, down here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Ooh. Yeah, we're hurting the, hurting the life forms a little bit. Game doesn't like how fast my nomad is. And now I can't find my, my ramp. Oh, the trials and tribulations. It's got to be up this way, right? Back towards the base, when in doubt. Yes, there it is. So as we come up this hill here, past the crystals, and then we bounce, yep, and then number two goes here. This time, we give a speed station. Now, let's try it again from the top. Well, no, not from the top, just from the jump. From the jump. All right, let's go. Whee, and you hit the ramp and you jump it. It wasn't a smooth transition, but that's okay. And then this one, boom, you jump it again. Next checkpoint somewhere down here now. So you cut across here. Okay, let's assess. Checkpoints here. The race has got to be from mountain to mountain. What time is it? This is where you're catching those rainbow hues. 1850? I think that's fair. Say the race time is 1900. That's where everything's sort of changing its colors. So you'll come over here. Probably be another checkpoint over here. Let's give a, a speed pad. I'm um, thinking right here. Okay. Look at all these creatures. Right. So we hit that. To the mountain and back, huh? It could be tough. I mean, now, just if we keep putting things, but the checkpoints come easy, right? So. No, that's kind of interesting. It's a pure ferrite rock. This is like some sort of crater... cratered section? And now it's 20 hundred. And now look at the effect you're getting all over everything. Those rocks are absolutely sticking out of the water. this one. Trying to remember which island we came from. Did we come from that one? I don't think we swung that wide around. There's our mountain, and it's not even as high as ours. But that's where the so the checkpoints are what drive what drive the timing, right? Like where you have to be and when. No, let's not add anything here. This is going to be all checkpoints through here. The big thing is to get to the mountain. 
All right, now let's put in the fuel, though. It's important. Okay. I think right here, adding another speed section is important. Okay, so I don't think we need the ramp there, but... There you go, and then you can boost afterwards to extend it. Right, it doesn't have to be ramps and boosts everywhere. We can add another sort of checkpoint in here. I'm wondering if it should be mountain to mountain. Is that going to be too long? Let's go up to the top of it and see. Because if these mountain, if these races aren't going to take us to points of interest, then what are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? So now you have a checkpoint here, somewhere. So you have a checkpoint a little further in on the island, and then over here you put. Speed plating. Oh no! Oh! Alright, now. Alright, now that sentinel's all over me, but it doesn't care about the creatures trying to eat me? Come on. Alright, so I'm not as big of a fan of the blaze javelin as I thought I would be. Scatter blaster, though. These guys are all over the place, these critters. Oh, come on. Okay, then you're going down, then, robot face. You're going down, then. I don't have any time to deal with this, nor do I have the patience. Alright, what am I doing? I'm trying to build the jump to the next section. And it involves speed path. I don't have enough metal plating now. Uh oh. On, just right. Okay, there we go. So now the checkpoint goes in a little bit on the top of this mountain, and then when you're ready to leave, this is the ideal place to leave right here. You just boom, boom. Yep, and then you catch your boosts. Maybe a little bit of height. Right, enough time to boost a couple of times. Right, now you're trying to cut through these. So now this is where you go the go weaving through this stuff because we're gonna put a lot of checkpoints through here. We're gonna have to do some like back and forth. Maybe we start the race a little earlier. Seems like it's a pretty long race. Ooh, alien artifact. Hold on. We're gonna change directions. Small detour. See, but at th in this situation, we actually we require more ferrite dust to make the metal plating. Let's let's just sit on ten for now. Right, the Sentinels aren't going to follow us. We knew that was going to be a thing. They were going to give up. Oof. Two new Corvaxian words. I'll accept those. Alright, and now we have to... 
go up the mountain. Again, I don't think we need any functions for these just yet. Just leave it as is. This is when the checkpoints start to get uh, specific here towards the end. So it'll be like a, a checkpoint here. So you'll have to sort of run in between this stuff. if this was the sunset. Another checkpoint here, and then right about the time you get to here, alright, this is how it goes, you know how it goes, speed pad and a jump. Oh no! I hit the tree! Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's turn around. Ugh. For science, for science, we're supposed to be seeing if we can make that jump. So let's back up. Mmm. Mmm. Look at this thing. It's a whole. It's a whole hollow. It's a whole hollow cave under here. Hold on. So many distractions. So many distractions indeed. But what is down here? If not our salvation. Or cave predators! No, those predators are on the outside. So let's go back to our azure spark here. Ouch! How dare you! I do not accept these terms. Alright. So you set up a nice long jump. You gotta get going in the right direction. It's. I think it's interesting these mountains are hollow with massive cave systems. That's, that's kind of cool. Alright, so the checkpoints will sort of weave you through there. And then as long as you hang left, boom, you make it, right? Checkpoint here. And then you take a nosedive back off to the start of the race. Maybe. Okay, we'll have to look. That's what I'm going to be working on here uh, in between this episode and the next episode and then we'll likely be ready to move on our way uh, but this has been no man's sky episode 163 thank you so much for joining me i do hope you've had a good time watching because as always i have had a good time playing be sure to come back next time as we run the actual test track that's all going to be complete and then jump to the next system that will feature a race on the Thranxian Pre. On the Thranx Pre. But until next time, take care. <laughs>